recreating these these native ecosystems is a beautiful thing and essentially like as humanity being the, the driving force on the planet right now it's really a question of how should humanity interact with the environment yeah i consider myself as making a difference in my own way my grandfather was a grain farmer in the area for his entire life and my father decided to focus more on the cattle because we're in a, a mixed farming area with some land that's suitable for cattle and some for grain. So we've been focusing on cattle for 45 years and then we switched to bison in the mid 90s. So it's uh, just about 30 years now we've been doing bison. The one of the big features of bison is the fact that they're incredibly tough and resilient and look after themselves. So that was one of the drawing cards for us to get into bison was just the appealing nature of being able to just let them do their own thing. The scripter for bison in the grasslands is that they're the keystone species in the grasslands. And for people that aren't familiar with the term keystone, it's like it's the important building block that the rest of the, which is the foundation for all the rest of the other species to build from. So because the bison have been grazing out here for 10,000 years, there's a whole network of, of grassland bird species and salamanders and every other living thing here, which basically has a relationship with the bison. So a specific example of that would be the shedding of the wool, where in the springtime when the bison shed their winter wool, um, it's picked up almost immediately by all the other animals around here. So the birds will pick it up and incorporate it into their nests and gophers pick it up and bring it down into their burrows. So they have a nice cozy fur lined burrow to spend the year in. It's an important thing for all the other little um, bird species to, to have access to. People describe their walking as using their, their toes and they tend to, it's almost like they aerate the ground a little bit. In our experience as well, they, they essentially act like cedars in a, in a way, because especially you can see the, the hair on their chaps, like on their front legs. Um, that hair will catch seeds. And then with the, the hoof action, they, they're quite effective uh, cedars actually. <laughs> so when the bison are walking, they, they kind of stir up some insects and the, cow, the birds will eat those insects or sometimes the birds will even perch on the backs of the bison and they'll eat insects or different things like right off of, off of the bison. You know, having a bison herd and maintaining this local grasslands is uh, an important thing to do for the local environment and something I can feel good about. And anyone that, that uh, eats a bison burger could even feel good about. <laughs>